Welcome to the demonstration of the FPI 4700 Holder Inserter by FP Mailing Solutions. This is a powerhouse of a little folding inserting system. Um, it has a maximum of three stations, can fold up to 10 sheets of paper in half, can run a variety of different envelope sizes and styles, and it's just a great all around, easy to use machine. The idea of this machine is to take paper, fold it, stuff it in an envelope, seal that envelope, and then stack it. The other thing it does is it can add things like reply envelopes or little cards, some glossy paper, or maybe some pre-folded paper. It can handle all those types of medias. And so if you're running things through our feeding system over here, which is one sheet with a reply envelope, you can do that all day long, no problem. You may do two sheets in a reply envelope, and the next job may be three sheets. The next job may be one sheet with an insert and a reply envelope. So as you can see, with three feed stations, you can do a whole lot more than feeding three sheets or two sheets in an insert. It can, it's a wide variety, and it's set up to do um, whatever your applications are. These feed trays are really cool because they'll run anything from three and a half inches in length, like a reply envelope, or maybe a third sheet of 11-inch paper, like a card or something, all the way up to legal size paper, 14-inch. Um, in any combination. So you can have a job where you're running a legal size sheet with a letter size sheet with a reply envelope or a 7 inch document or whatever. These trays are really, really smart and that's what we call them. They're smart trays. In addition to that, you can run applications such as stapled sets. So if someone is working at their desk and they're grouping things, they staple them together, they can create a stack and with that stack they can hand insert them one by one into the um, daily mail feeder, what we call semi-automatic mode, and it will take those sets one by one as, as fast as they're fed, the machine will accept them. So that's a really great benefit to this machine is that if your jobs change, the machine can change and run those jobs with you. Um, in addition, after the paper is separated from the stack and is sent into the machine, we have what we call secure and feed. That's our double document detection, and it's a guarantee that not more than one sheet of paper was fed. So sometimes in humid environments or very dry environments where there's a lot of static electricity, paper will want to stick together and that's a really tight bond. In those cases, if two sheets do stick together, our electromechanical secure and feed system will catch it. It's actually a digital caliper. It's not like a little light or anything that sees through paper like you may have seen in the past or understood in the past. This is actually a little roller that goes on top of the paper and measures the thickness. So the paper can be white, could be black, could be any color, it could have an almost non-toner page, or it could have a very full page, full of toner, and it won't affect the way this thickness detector works. Once the paper thickness is detected and everything is proven well, we take that paper to our accumulator. And the accumulator is great. There's a huge benefit to this device. The accumulators where all the sheets of paper come together and they get all nice and straight before it sends them to the folder. And it's really important to have straight paper because um, who wants a crooked fold, right? So the idea here, uh, in addition to straightening out the paper, is it provides a place to accumulate documents. So what I mean by that is if you have a job and one of these feed trays is feeding three sheets from the same tray, It'll bring page one down, then page two right on top of it, page three on top of that, get them all nice and straight, and then send them to the folder. So you, when you, the recipient opens the envelope, they get page one, page two, page three, just the way you expect them to have it. Um, on our system here, we can do that up to 10 pages because this system can fold 10 pages in half in one packet. It's a very powerful folder, which is the next step in the line here. So after they're straight, they head to the folder. Our powerful 10 system is incredible. It is very powerful. It's not big black rubber rollers, which are limited in fold capacity. This is actually a little aluminum blade that comes in, and it makes the fold a nice crisp fold in the paper. And uh, there's no maintenance to that. I'll show you it later in this demonstration when we open the system up. So that's your power fold system. After that, there's an inserting position where those folded documents enter the envelope. There's a sealing system with um, uh, three really nice brushes. It does an excellent job of sealing envelopes. Um, and then they come out here and they exit to a stacker. We have several different stackers. 
um, we have this high capacity vertical stacker which can hold up to 500 envelopes. This is great because it's a small footprint and, and it goes vertical. Um, we also have a side exit device where there's a catch tray out front here and the items come out and they stack. Fantastic. Nice high capacity. That catch tray can also be mounted on the back of the machine so that the envelopes go that way and stack, which some customers prefer because this catch tray, they'd like it to get out of their way. Um, we also have a postage machine interface, so we can fold and insert and seal, drop these right into an FP Postbase Pro or a Postbase Pro DS uh, mailing systems, and uh, you have continuous operation, continuous production. You go from printed paper to metered mail in one step. So as you can tell, there's a lot of options, there's a lot of flexibility with this machine. Um, things such as our envelope hopper, which is a load on the fly envelope hopper. So yeah, it's great. It holds 325 envelopes. Fantastic. But what if the machine stops after the envelope hopper um, it empties and you can't load it, right? And that's not the case here. Um, on this machine, it's load on the fly. So it's pulling envelopes from the bottom, which means that the user can take a stack of envelopes and just set them on top all the way up till it's completely full and continuous, you know, keep the machine going. Um, continuous operation is the reason why people buy these machines. You want to get your job done, productivity is important, let's do that. And this is one way we do it. Our feed trays are also load on the fly. We have feed trays that will hold 325 sheets like these. We have them that will hold 725 sheets and we have one that will hold up to 1200 sheets of paper. Um, so we have a lot of options that are not shown in this video so we can give you more details on those as we proceed. Um, let me start it up. I'm just going to run a job and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to change jobs. I'm going to do three jobs and I'll tell you what the jobs are before I run it. This first one is going to be one sheet of paper from the bottom tray and we're just going to do a C fold. We're going to put it in an envelope and we're going to stack it in the stacker. And uh, we remove these from the stacker. I'll just press start. So you can see over here, it's green paper. It's feeding from the bottom tray. Comes over here, it gets all nice and straight. It folds, it inserts, it seals. I have the sealer turned off for this job. And then up here, the stacker, and I'll go ahead and press stop. You end up with your nice piece of paper all nicely folded. It's straight in the whole bit. Now, I'm going to change a job. And sometimes, on particular machines, this is a big task, but not on this machine. So I'm going to leave this job. And as you can tell, this is a nice color touchscreen. Um, it works as a tablet, so all the jobs are right here. I can have up to 50 jobs. It's a swipe to the left or the right to get to jobs over six, because it will hold six on one screen. Um, it gives you a really nice description of the jobs, which we'll give you a close-up here in a later video. Um, I'm going to, right now, I'm going to do another job, and this job is going to be a marketing job. And we call it marketing. It's the name of the job, but you'll name your jobs whenever you want. Bills, invoices, statements, uh, whatever. This job here, however, is an, also a number 10. It's going to pull from these two trays, station one, station two. All I had to do was change the job. Make sure I have the right envelopes in. Load the paper, push start, and away it goes. But there you go, we have our two sheets of paper. If you notice, they're nice and straight. It's a nice crisp fold, and everyone's happy. Get your job done. Now I'm going to do a job where I'm going to change to a 6x9.5. But before I do that, I want to show you something um, with, the, with the folder inserter. Whenever you have a machine, that is processing paper, something is going to happen. Paper is unpredictable. Sometimes it's curvy or wavy, waves this way, waves that way. Um, it can be staticky or wet because humidity is high, depending on the environment you're in. If you're processing paper, stuff's going to happen. It doesn't matter what type of machine it is. Paper is unpredictable. So the idea about these machines is not whether or not something eventually is going to happen. When it happens, how quickly is it to clear the stoppage and get on with productivity? Now these are very reliable. It's very rare that something's going to stop. But let me show you a little, uh, little demonstration. I'm going to remove these envelopes. I have here 
a number 10 business envelope, has a staple all the way through it here and a staple all the way through it here. I'm going to load this in the machine and when the documents, the folded documents, enter this to be inserted, they're not going to be able to go all the way in and the machine will stop. The machine's going to say, hey, I have a stoppage. Something's wrong with the envelope or something. So I'm just going to set this in here, maybe four or five envelopes before the stapled one. Let's just press start. Running along fine, all of a sudden there's an envelope that's defective or something. The machine is very clear. It says envelope stoppage and it shows a big X on the display right in this area. That's where it wants me to look. Gives me an idea here. Envelope is uh, at the insert position and it gives me some ideas of what to do to prevent this from happening in the future. Basically, you lift the lid. It's right here. You give this a little twist. There's my document, my two page document. And there's my stapled envelope. If you notice, it didn't damage my document. This is really important, especially with checks or patient statements, uh, bank statements, things of that nature, to not damage this because these are very expensive to reprint, especially if you have to call some other department to reprint it. Checks especially are very expensive to reprint. So our system is set up in a way, it's designed in a way that it won't destroy your document. Um, if you ever need to get to some of the other envelopes, it's very easy to remove. And so basically you'll remove it, you'll close this, and you'll press start. It'll bring up another envelope and continue with the job. I'll go ahead and press stop. Let it clear the system. There we go. So now I'm going to change the job to one that's a six by nine and a half envelope. And the reason I want to do this is I want to show you the simplicity of it. Because sometimes it's nice to know when you're looking to purchase a machine, you know, the different tasks that you may have to go through and how long it's going to take. So here's some six by nine and a half envelopes. I'll just load them in the hopper. And again, this is load on the fly, so you can load them all the way to the top. But for our purposes here today, I'll just put that many in. I'm going to choose the job, so I'm going to go back to my job list. This one here is called Human Resources. Sometimes HR departments produce some stuff for the employees, and it's a high page count. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate to you it folding 10 sheets of paper in half and putting in this 6 by 9 and a half envelope. Now, the collator over here, you're going to see it pulling paper. It's going to pull three sheets from the top, three sheets from the middle, and four sheets from the bottom. But I could set one feed tray to pull all ten if I wanted. Okay? So let's just uh, let this go. And you'll see it's really easy to change jobs. So it's building a group of ten, getting it all nice and straight. See how it taps it? It'll pull it and insert it. You end up with an envelope with 10 folded sheets of paper. There you go. I'll go ahead and stop it. 10 sheets of paper, it's not even struggling. All right, so we'll do one more. I think it's clearing it out. Great. So we talked a little bit about accessibility over here. What I want to show you is one other thing. This here, this green paper, I've actually taped two sheets together. This is going to simulate a double feed. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put this, I'll put it in the middle of the greens. There we go. And so what's going to happen is it's going to go through. It's going to detect that as a double, and it's going to bring all that down here. Let's start it up again. There it is. The display says, hey, document's too thick. Check this area. And as far as the user is concerned, all you have to do is remove these. You'll be able to tell right here is my 
two pages taped together. And there you go. So this is the uh, demonstration of the FPI 4700 folder inserter. I hope you've enjoyed this and learned a lot because that's what it's all about.